Hello and welcome to All About Community. My name is Robert L. Harris and I am your host. Let me tell you why I am smiling. I'm smiling for a good reason. The good reason is that Judge, uh, uh, Judge uh, Katina, Katina Jackson has now become Justice Jackson of the United States Supreme Court, but it wasn't easy. I hope all of you had an opportunity to watch those proceedings and see how she was treated by those people on the other side of the aisle. Only three of the Republicans voted for her. And that is a shame because this woman, this black woman, first black woman to be elevated to the United States Supreme Court was more qualified than any person that I have ever read about and I'm a lawyer myself, about in the history of the United States Supreme Court. Let me not get carried away with this because I have a guest today and he is not going to talk about uh, the uh, Jackson uh, appointment, but he is going to talk about his candidacy for the mayor of Oakland. Lauren Taylor, welcome to All About Community. How are you today? Thanks so much, Bob. Great to be here. Thank you for having me. Well, you may not say that, but time I get through with you today. <laughs> oh, I'm just joking. <laughs> Lauren is an old friend of mine. Actually, uh, I supported him when he first ran for District 6. Now, yes, tell us, uh, District 6, has it prepared you for being the mayor of Oakland? And if so, how? Absolutely. So, Bob, as you know, my roots in Oakland grow deep as a third generation Oaklander. Um, my DNA is Oakland. My grandparents, they moved here in the 40s from the segregated South. My parents graduated from Skyline High School in Oakland Tech. Well, I graduated from Oakland Tech, so they That's must right. be good. They must, they must be good people. They must be good. Yeah, so uh, the commitment to Oakland has been deep long before I decided to run for office. And yes, being in District 6 has been an incredible experience for me to understand what is working and what isn't working in our local government. But tell me, tell me what is working. What and is then working? you can tell me what is not working. Absolutely. Well, we've got some uh, glimpses of, of hope, some rays of light from my time on the, in, in office. Since I've been in District 6, representing District 6, we have created more economic opportunities for those who have been marginalized and left out. We have also helped to lead the creation of some strategies around addressing homelessness that didn't exist before the council hadn't adopted. And we've also focused on how we can reimagine public safety while still keeping people safe uh, through a variety of, of, of programs and initiatives. Now, when you say uh, reimagine, what do you mean by that? What, what I mean is that we have seen, we all know the racist past history of unconstitutional policing that has served to uh, really put black residents and other residents of color uh, at, at risk, sacrificing our lives, uh, really devaluing our lives. And so we have to acknowledge that past while also recognizing that we have to have communities that keep uh, safe. We just had 134 homicides in Oakland this past year. This, this most recent weekend, uh, more than eight uh, injuries due to gun violence. We have to bring solutions that keep us safe while also moving away from what we know is a public safety system that doesn't serve. Now, what have been, in District 6, uh, let's say two or three of your major accomplishments, which you think have helped prepare you for running for mayor of the city of Oakland? Absolutely. Well, number one, we have to take uh, all of our underused, underappreciated, undervalued assets, invest in them so that they can grow and create greater value for us. So when I look at the vacant lot at the corner of 73rd and Foothill, right where Eastmont Mall is, we took that weed infested, litter strewn lot and converted that to an urban oasis in partnership with community organizations and so many others. We now call it Liberation Park because it is a place where East Oaklanders can come build their businesses. We have a certified farmer's market and local vendor marketplace mm -hmm. several times a month. It's a place where you can get the resources and support 
that you need. It was this place where we had pop-up vaccine uh, clinics and testing throughout the pandemic, free food giveaways. It's a place where you can come and recreate and just enjoy life with your family. We now have an outdoor roller skating rink. Uh, we have had wine, wine tasting, black owned wineries. Think of that wine tasting in the heart of East Oakland. Well, I mean, that's not bad at all. Wine, I, I like wine. <laughs> <laughs> now, now tell me succinctly, why are you running for mayor of Oakland? I'm running to be mayor because the future of this town is personal to me. I've seen where we're going. I can't stand by and see things deteriorate. And no, I, I know I can do something about it. Now, you mentioned earlier about the crime rate in Oakland, uh, the homicides uh, from last year. Uh, what do you plan to do about those? So we talked about last year, we were on a terrible track heading towards 134 homicides. And uh, it was at that point that I recognized we have to do something. We have to uh, have a call to action that charges us to do that much more. So I announced the stand tall call to action. And I was grateful to have uh, community members stand beside me, Bishop Bob Jackson, uh, John Jones the third. We had Tucky Blunt from Blunts and More, Cynthia Adams from NAACP. And that call to action called for five specific goals. Okay, well, we're going to talk about those five specific uh, goals, but unfortunately, we have to go to break. break, so don't touch that remote. <laughs> Matter of fact, just put it down. Put it down. We will be right back with All About Community. My name is Robert L. Harris. I am your host, and my guest is Lauren Taylor, a candidate for Oakland mayor.